We often talk about creating riders who are resilient, but how we do that is really key. Making good decisions under pressure in a race situation or knowing how to bounce back and making a decision on how you will do that. The mechanism to generating that resilience comes from support, advice, the right environment and also being helped and coached to make good decisions in those toughest of situations. Female cycling is on a journey. There weren't as many events for women as there are now. The Tour de France is a global event. It's a huge opportunity to provide the next steps for the sport. We've been enjoying the men's race for such a long time and now to see the women step into a multi-day stage race, it showcases women's sport in exactly the right way and having the opportunity now to step up and race the Tour de France is really important. When I first started there were no initiatives like the Skoda DSI Cycling Academy. Having the opportunity to provide a platform for women and to provide those women with a voice and a confidence to speak out and say this is what we need, this is what we deserve has been one of the key parts of the Skoda investment in women's cycling and in cycling as a whole. Without equal opportunities at the youth and junior level, we won't see the equality that we need at the elite professional level. And having the Tour de France a global event, all eyes will be on the women's peloton for that week. It'll be the first time in 33 years that we've had a female standing in the Tour de France leader's jersey and that's a really special moment.